The UK is currently in the middle of a major housing crisis. Homelessness figures in the UK have risen by 14% in the last 12 months, with charities claiming this to be just the tip of the iceberg. Whilst this figure continues to rise, there remain 720,000 empty homes in England, with 280,000 left vacant for six months or more. Squatting is a choice for some, whilst for others it is a solution to homelessness and perhaps their only option. I speak with some Italian friends, they're living in Italy, I say I'm squatting. You're crazy, you live with the shit, you live with dogs, uh, you're punk. Uh, no, we're normal people uh, that uh, we, we don't care about the, all the uh, comfortable things, you know, all the, we can stay here and live amazing. I came to Londres thinking that I wanted to occupy. I've always been close to these movements and I came to Londres to come to Londres. Yes, in my case, I don't think that a alquiler so cheap no lo, quería, no lo podía pagar y no lo quería pagar. Ya venía con la idea de ocupar en este país. Some of them, they are, are like, they, they, you know, they, they don't work and they, yeah, maybe they're smoking all day and everything. But there is other people that they have jobs, like normal jobs in the shop, cleaning. Of course, they're not going to be like office and snobbies because they're not going to be there because they don't want to be in that kind of system. Squatting is a common response to homelessness with 40% of homeless people turning to squatting at some point in their lives. Uh, it was a combination of ideals and disabilities although I didn't realize it at the time I thought it was just my ideals uh, but then later in life when I found out that I was Asperger's I realized that I didn't really didn't have a choice. Some squatters squat because they have got no other option. They have nowhere to live, they're homeless. Squatting is homeless um, in, 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 in their terms, um, so I've always been homeless. At any given time, approximately 400,000 people in the UK can be described as the hidden homeless. Unlike rough sleepers who you see on the streets, the vast majority of these individuals are harder to spot since they tend to move between different temporary accommodation, couch surf or squat in empty buildings. Yes, it doesn't represent a long-term solution, but if the alternative is to be sleeping on the streets, then squatting can offer somebody a space where they can be safe, it can offer a supportive community to people, it can offer a breathing space where they can get their life back together. For many homeless people, squatting is a necessity as they simply have nowhere else to go. Over 70% of homeless people have approached their local authorities for help and have been refused. People need somewhere to be permanently able to live, not living in temporary and unreliable and insecure uh, situations such as squatting. Squatting is not an answer to homelessness, it's a result of homelessness. Following a number of debates in the House of Lords, Bill 136 was given the go-ahead and will mean that squatting in residential buildings, whether derelict or abandoned, will be a criminal offence, punishable by prison sentence or fines of up to £5,000. How can they pay the fine if they're homeless? And also, how can they actually chase that fine up if they don't pay it because they've got nowhere to, nowhere to go. No, I don't think they deserve to go to prison but I think there should be easier mechanisms to get them out. Personally, it's uh, a bit extreme. Uh, I think a lot of people who are squatting uh, have various needs. Uh, obviously, they need accommodation. Uh, some have other vulnerabilities and uh, we should look to help them first and punish them second. Following huge cuts to public services, the government plans to spend up to £790 million to criminalise squatting by establishing new laws 
Even though the existing 1977 Criminal Law Act is adequate to protect people displaced from homes, according to the Law Society, the Met Police and the Criminal Bar Association. I absolutely refuse to support this bill with my taxes and I myself will <laughs> seriously consider uh, withholding in a hypothecated way my uh, tax contribution to uh, a really vandalistic bit of legislation. Criminalising squatting and not doing anything or not doing enough to address the root causes of squatting, such as I say the um, chronic housing shortage, I, I don't think that's necessarily a, 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 sort of a productive or socially just um, way for a government to, uh, to conduct themselves. It seems absurd. In a, in a culture, in a society where there are properties vacant and there are people in need of somewhere to sleep, that, that might you know, end up being a burden on the taxpayer, fill up the prisons with, with people who are doing nothing other than trying to find you know, shelter. The term solution is, uh, is not squatting, it's uh, getting help from uh, an organisation that uh, can, can help people with all the different needs they have. There are empty houses, a lot of people. They prefer to keep the people in the street. Uh... Um, there's no shadow of a doubt. It will go through. It will cause a massive impact on the people on the, uh, the, the, the people that are it out will... there. Cost the taxpayer more money because obviously the the jails will become over over overrun. During our current housing crisis, with so many empty properties, squatting is a natural response to homelessness. What is needed is more affordable housing provision and a focus on bringing empty and disused properties back into use. The government has allocated £70 million of funding to 95 projects to bring more than 5,600 empty homes back into use. This is a positive step forward. Bill 136 will increase the burden on already overstretched local authorities and charities. This law would also mean an extra cost on the judiciary system, the police and the taxpayer, with an estimated cost of between 35.9 to 89.8 million pounds a year. During a consultation named Options for Dealing with Squatters, 96% of respondents opposed criminalisation. The homeless charity crisis is concerned that there will be an increase in the number of homeless people ending up in prison for simply trying to put a roof over their heads. Is making criminals out of some of the most vulnerable in society really the answer?